prestigious Miss Universe competition. In January 2023, she flew to New Orleans and through intense preliminary competitions, she not only became the first Hmong woman to grace the Miss Universe stage, but also the first Hmong woman ever, ever to make top 16 at the pageant. Outside of her reign as Miss Universe Laos, she is also the director for Hmong Women Network, located in Laos. The organization exists to promote Hmong women empowerment and to advocate for access to quality education. She is inspired to open a school in Laos focused on the English language and plans to start fundraising for this initiative upon completion of her contract with a Miss Universe Laos organization. Payek Chan is currently starting social enterprises to help raise funds to support her different causes, where she hopes to donate 50% of all of her different nonprofit initiatives. She continues to inspire us on a global level, and I share with her and with all of you. Please help us welcome this phenomenal woman who represented the global Hmong people so well. Payeng Cha Long. Make sure to put the sign on Payeng Cha Long. to Dr. Vicky who hosts this event. Because of her, this event happened. And I want to say thank you to all the elder advisor who helped organize this event. And I want to say thank you to all the people who come here and join this event. Um, I apologize if I didn't say all of your name. Um, for my speech today, I want to say that um, last last moment I was saying that all the hard work that I have done have seen. It doesn't mean that you will be seen all the time. Sometimes you you felt like you work really hard and nobody see it. Sometimes you feel um, feel like you you want to give up. You feel like you cannot do it. You feel like it's so far. You feel like it's Possible. But I want to say that keep doing it even no one is seeing. Keep doing great things even no, no nobody knows. As long as you feel good, as long as you know what you are doing, so that's what's important to you. And when you do that, one day people will see, like what I did when I was young. I grew up as a poor girl. I felt like I had no opportunity. I felt like nobody sees me um, because I grew up like a mom girl. I feel like sometimes there's a lot of discrimination. I felt like I, I didn't fit in. I felt like I somebody um, who have no name, somebody who nobody cares. So I, I try to find the answer. What am I living for? And why I'm here, like I am born for what? I should have a purpose. I should I, I should be born for something. And at that time, I, I, I felt like I am a special person. I always feel that. And then I was trying to find like how and and what. So my dad, at that time, I was like um, I was eight years old, and I asked my my dad, I asked my father. Dad, why you always tell me go to school? I don't even see it change my life. And then my dad say, it will change your life. Education is the only way that will help you erase poverty. So I was like, oh, how? I was like, still have, have the question like, how, how can it erase poverty? 
how many education I feel like I go to school, I read books, and that's it. And I started to ask like, um, I can't even earn money and make money yet. So at that time, I I, I wonder about that question a lot, and I was like very lazy. I don't want to go to school anymore. And my dad punished me. Um, my, um, I, I told my dad that dad, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to school no more. Can I not go to school? And then he he was so disappointed when I said that. And then he said, Okay, fine. If you don't want to go to school, then I will never let you go to school again. And the more the morning, my dad. Um, I don't know how to say that in English. So that with your brother, my brother and my sister, they, 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 go, they went to school. So to still be me, who stay in the house, and then my dad say, you know, I'll not see your restroom. And then I was like, okay, I feel like, oh, I don't have to go to school no more. I feel like my, I'm free now. But then, a very important lesson that when you don't have education, um, it's very hard for you to live your life because um, in pe in our life, I, I figure out that we are selling. We are selling. If we don't sell our knowledge, then we sell our uh, products. Um, if we don't sell products, then we sell our you work for others. So I feel like the only way to help you to get rich or wealthy is only selling, sell things. So I found out that if I don't have education, how can I um, do something, give something, and help others? So, education I will use, I will use like um, only you look down you 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 will always work for others the whole your whole life. So I don't want to be like that. I want to be someone who make a difference. I want to be someone who can help others. Um, I want to be someone not just successful, but someone who, who can go beyond that, someone who can do something more about the community. So the first time I started to know that I want to do things for others, it's because that when I didn't have, when I, when I have nothing, when people help, help me, when people give me, give me something, I felt very special and I felt very happy. And I want to share that feelings with others as, as well. So, and when I was a kid, I felt like sometimes, like I said, I feel like I didn't fit in. I feel like I, I never seen by other. So that's why I want to make sure that every kid, they're helped. They are loved, they are fitting, and they are special. So that I started to um, um, do the um, nonprofit organization, going helping people. So that when I when I go um, to the rural area, I kind of see um, life there. It's, it's very it's very sad and it's very poor. So I was there before. And I, I want to help them. I want to help them to see that you can grow out of the conditional that you will grow up in. It doesn't mean that you are born like this and that you have to accept it. You can be someone you want to be. You can go. You can be 
where you want to be. You just have to um, believe in yourself, work hard. And one thing is that when I was when I was a little kid, um, what I think in my head is like grow up, uh, get married, work in a field, in a farm, and that's it. Because that, that's the only thing that I see when I was like um, young. Because when we was young, we we lived in a size of wood, long sun. So everywhere it's mountain, farm. That's it. That's 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 only what I see. And there's no cars. So, but when my dad moved us to Vientiane, it's a big city. I see road. I see I see people. I see building. I see lots of activity. I see cars. I started to change my mind that oh, in our world, there's so much thing that I. So I started to curious and learn lots of lots of things, and that's that that is the, the start of education. So education is not about only go to school, okay, read book, uh, go to school, um, sitting sitting in the class, but it's all about learning who you are, learning what you want, learning what you really know how to do, and then embraces. Work hard on it. It's about learning how can you do something. If I want to be an, an engineer, I need to learn, educate myself about those things. If I want to be um, a teacher, then I need to learn how to be a teacher and how can I get there. So that is education about me. So the purpose of saying this today is that our elder is the example the best thing that we can do to help the young generation is to be example, to help them to see where they want to go and where they want to be. Because if there is no role model, if there is no example, then we will never know who we want to be. If I never see beauty pageant, I would never know I want to be beauty pageant. If I never see a doctor, then I would never know um, how to be a doctor. So our elders support the kids. Um, I know that in America, um, you guys are so supportive, very supportive. But um, message those who so so that I can protect her I don't want she I don't want her to do something um, something like very big because I'm like I want to protect her I know that Whatever our kids want to do, support them, help them, educate them so that they can see and one day they, one day they will know that they, they want to do it or not. Because um, a lot of times when our when when, the, when kids say that oh I want to be a uh, football player for example and then you're kind of like oh, I don't think it will work um, you 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 don't believe in your child that they will be a football player um, something like that and they say oh it's enough of being a football player I think you can be a doctor or a lawyer but then you do what they do to me on the country. So whenever they, whatever they want to be, just support them, help educate them, find resources for them. So that's the best that, that our elder can do. Instead of saying that, I don't think you can do it. I think you can do something else. I think you should do something, something different. So that, that is the message that I want to um, give to all of you guys today. Your education is something that very important because every successful people are educated. They have knowledge. So that, that's what I I always say. Education is very important because it will help you to get where you want to be. And it, education will help you to have the life that you want to live. Yeah, 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 yeah
hai trái nước nó so lastly và sau một cống một món cho mấy số nét số tu cho chi sắc kỹ nó phải nhớ cho I wish you all healthy, wealthy and successful in life. Thank you so much.